Hi, my name is Jim Stevens. I'm the Vice President of Sales and Marketing for US Digital. And I'm here today to talk about our EC35 optical encoder, which provides commutation and incremental outputs. The EC35 is your classic style encoder where it provides incremental A, B, Z outputs. Plus it also provides three phase commutation signals, UVW signals. And the EC35 is typically used for writing commutation information on the back of a brushless DC motor. EC35 comes in, in two pieces shipped to, to a customer, a base plate and optical assembly. First step in the assembly process is to assemble this base plate to a tail shaft or motor. This is a very classic motor which has a tail shaft where an encoder typically lives. The trick is to get this base assembly on the back of this motor, concentric to the tail shaft of the motor. And to do that, we use a centering tool which is shipped with the product. Simply slide over the shaft of the motor and then you essentially lock or attach the base plate to the back of the motor using machine screws. Okay, base plate's attached, remove the centering tool, now you're ready to assemble the optic assembly to the back of the motor. Okay. Optic assembly uses our patented push-on hub design. This patented push-on hub design uses a collet style of, of gripping to the shaft of the motor to lock the hub assembly to the motor. Many classic encoders use a set screw. This one does not have a set screw, so consequently don't have the opportunity for a set screw coming loose and in operation during, during the life of the product. Next step is to essentially start that onto the shaft of the motor, tail shaft motor, you sit it on there, and press the assembly on until you hear a click. Boom, you hear that click. The assembly is now free to rotate, full 360 degrees, there's no stops, no limits. You remove the gapping tool that sets the optics air gap to our, to our sensor. The product is now ready to run. At this point, you can run the product, you can rotate the product to do your timing of your commutation tracks, to the poles of your motors. Once that timing is completed, this ring is pushed down. The tool that's also provided lock the encoder in place. Now the encoder is locked in place. It's 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 there for a duration. This part of the demonstration shows for the timing of the EC35 commutation tracks to the back EMF of a brushless DC motor. The EC35, as you can see here, is free to rotate 360 degrees. And during this rotation, you'll see that. We have a, a little oscilloscope application running on our laptop here. We have a, a, a sine wave, which is the back EMF of the motor rotating. The square wave coming out here, the blue line, is the U-channel of the, of the EC35. And this, the timing of the EC35 to the back EMF is essentially performed by rotating the encoder until the two waveforms coincide at the zero crossing point. At this point, uh, the EC35 is, is aligned to the motor's physical pole location. And at this point, as we discussed earlier, we use our, our tool to push down our locking ring on the EC35. This locking ring retains the position of the EC35 during its life of, of operation. So at this point, push it down to the bottom top. EC35 is locked in place. It will no longer rotate. And your encoder is tied to, to the back end motor. Something else to keep in mind about our EC35 product is that we have very quick ship. Typically, if you order this thing before 11 o'clock in the morning, it has an opportunity to probably ship the same day if not within one or two days, so our delivery is very quick in our product. So if you have any questions, you know, please contact our sales group at sales at usdigital.com or our phone is area code 360-260-2468.